Hi, my name is Keely and I work here at Clipfolio. Today I'm going to build this chart that shows me the total number of units ordered for each state. Um, and I want to sort that by the average order price uh, for those units, for those orders. So the first thing I'm going to do is my series is going to be my units, which is column E. And my x-axis is going to be my state, which is column B. I want to group uh, the orders so that I get the total number of units for each state. So there I'm seeing those total number of orders. I'm going to add a filter here to remove the column header, which is uh, state. So I'm going to uncheck state. And there I have the number of uh, units ordered for each state. But I want to sort this by the average order price. And I don't have the price, which is in column H, in my visualization. So in order to add that, I'm going to go to the component level and add additional data, which I can do here with additional data or over here in the control panel by adding that. So I'm going to click Add Data. That gives me a new subcomponent in my bar line chart. This is going to be the average price. Um, and it's a currency. Now I'm going to do go to my data and select column H uh, for this column because that's where I have the price. And I'm going to go back to the properties and change the aggregation to be the average because I want to look at the average price per order, not the total price. Now that I have this set up, I can sort based on this field. So I'm going to sort from the highest average price to the lowest average price. And now you see the visualization updates to show which states have the highest um, average order price first uh, and the total number of units associated with them. And that's my bar chart. Thanks for watching.